Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be painting a Schleich mirror. Well, it's not Schleich, it's like Toyota. I don't really know the brand, but I'm going to be painting her. I'm thinking about painting her like a black mirror or a blue roan. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, let's begin. So this is the mirror I'm going to be painting. I already cut her leg off. Sorry, I cut her leg off. Um, I cut her leg off before I started the video because I didn't think about doing the video. And I did. So then I'm going to cut the back legs. To, so I want her like a walking position. I, I'm going to use this knife. Make sure I have a, to the younger people, make sure I have an adult with you. I'm using this clay and this tool for smoothing out the clay. And these pastels that actually work really good. For me, they work really good. But yeah, I, I might cut the head off and like put it like, like in like a lower position or something. I'm not sure. But yeah. So I want her in a walking position and let's go. So I did decide I was gonna cut the head off and this is so hard you guys, like literally. I've cut over here, under here, and over here. So I'm, since I am not, I cannot even do ears, so I'm just gonna leave the ears like that. They look alerted, but that I, I'm not happy with that, that they look alerted, but um, yeah, it's the only option I have. So, yeah, we're gonna have to just leave her like that. Well, I'm gonna cut the head off, but we're gonna have to leave the ears like that. Then I'm gonna create a, like, a lower neck. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna have to wait for my dad to get home because he's actually at work right now. So this video will be posted by like tomorrow because I mean, He's, I'm going to ask him if he can help me cut the head off through right here. And then I'm going to see if he has any I'm going to drill a hole in it, put wires, tin foil, and clay, and then we'll move on. So, yeah, I'm still trying to get the head off, if y'all were wondering. <laughs> okay. I'll update you guys when I get the head off. All right, I still haven't cut the head off. I've made a little bit more prog prog progress. And I'm actually making a walking blue run. And I did cut the tail off and sculpted it back on. So, yeah. I did, I also forgot to, sh I, well, I didn't forget. I didn't show the sculpting because the sculpting actually was really hard and messed up a few times. And I did not want to have to start over the video. Start over um, the same exact, like, part because then that would be just tiring and stuff and i'm already tired my hands are burning of pain will hurt really bad but pain i'm trying so right now as you can see i am sculpting on the clay to the tail making sure it does not This is actually getting really hard. I had to put lots of clay because my clay is not like epoxy or nothing like that. My clay, I don't even know what clay this is. Like, cause like this, it's. This is polymer clay. So yeah, it's polymer clay. And it is really hard to sculpt with this thing. My fingers aren't dirty, but that's good. So, yeah, I sculpted a bit in my hand. Now I'm using the tool I showed y'all. Yes, this tool, I ju yes, I just bought this tool today. That's why it's like really clean. There's no way you can keep a tool this clean. Like, all of my tools are so dirty. I did go to Hobby Lobby today and found and bought like polymer clay the pastels i did actually use the pastels on something today after i got them so that's why i said that they work really good for me i mean if i did haven't tried them why how how would i know if it's good so 
Yeah. Now I'm just sculpting under the tail. Part that I have for the tail to hang on. I'm super scared that when I'm painting this, this is like really gonna fall right off. Okay, I'm just coping with my fingers now. Well, my fingers do get like a little dirty, but not that dirty. Like the dirty that I don't, that I don't want. Because I do, and I'm also sculpting my sculptors as good as I can. Because, because first I do not want this to look bumpy or anything. I want this to look like it's natural tail. Like I didn't cut nothing off or anything. So. Yeah. And also, I'm so sorry I haven't been posting. I know it's been so long that I've been posting. And I'm really happy I got to uh, make a video uh, today. Because actually, I don't have much like in the same room that now I'm in my garage. Because the room that I used to have them in is now my brother's, my little brother's room. So he he stole my like room, and I'm really mad about that. So and I still don't have it set up. It was like a long time ago that I moved them. Well, not a long time ago, like four, three days ago, and I still well, I only have a few stuff to set up, and I actually have lots of room now. So I have a lot more horses and yeah. I really like the position the tail is in right now. The only thing I do not, that I'm not happy about is how long it looks because it looks like it's all the way down here where it's supposed to be right here. And yeah, that no. This thing does not really work. The, the tool on this one. What I'm most likely scared about is the neck. That's, that's the scariest part. But I did call my dad right now. He's bringing me some wires and a drill. So it's easier for my neck. For the neck. Sorry. Okay. And by the way, this video will be really long. Make sure you watch till the end if you want to see how I have been painting while well, making my Schleich models. Well, not Schleich. Well, we're going to call it Schleich or models. This is like my first time I've ever sculpted and cut it a Schleich. Well, not Schleich. I'm sorry. A horse. A model horse. One time I did it with a full and it looked terrible because I, like, I was really young. I asked my dad for help. He helped me, but it did not look good. Okay, so now I am struggling with this little bump I hate over here. I'm just trying to smooth this onto the body where there's no bumps. So when I paint, like no bumps show or anything. So, yeah. Sorry if it's been really quiet for a little while because I'm, I'm really trying to focus on this. So, yeah. If you hear like a show, like noise, just to let you guys know, that's my little brother. He's watching Rio. So yeah, sorry about that. Cause I am actually at my dining table. That's why you see that, 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 lots of stuff. You see that thing over there where the pencils are. Yeah. And yeah, I am actually going to be cutting this leg. I just didn't want it. I just haven't finished it. But yeah, the head, I'm actually waiting for my dad to get here because, you know, this girl does not have muscles. I am really strong though, but I'm not strong enough. I love the song, the real song, the song that y'all are hearing right now. Gosh, this is so annoying. Pero? 
don't understand that accent, guys. I'm really concentrating on this. Okay, I'm gonna raise my camera right now uh, so y'all can see a better version. I just did not want y'all to see my face because I am not doing a face for real. So I'm gonna go wear my brother's mask. I'm gonna go get my brother's mask. So just in case if y'all see my face, y'all see nothing. Okay, y'all saw nothing if y'all saw my face. Okay, let me go grab the mask. So this is what I want to make her look like. A little bit like this, the dots on the blue round, I don't know about those because I'm not the best. And this is my first time using these pastels, like I said. So yeah, hopefully she turns out good.
sculpting the camera. I only really focus on this. And this mask is making me feel really dark. And I'm an iPad if I remember, not camera. I call it camera. But, yeah. This model cannot lay on that side because it helps you clean. There's some of the other things. Oh yeah, let me get to cutting this leg off because that's the problem. Give it like a little on this side to come out of So back on and then see if my dog will sleep out on time and then um, after after we go to see if we can cut the hair so we can take out you guys guess what yes i was not able to sculpt the tail back on i have to glue it on actually because um yeah but um yeah i cut both the legs off i have the body part here so i think pretty sure this one goes over here. That's my dad over there. So this one goes like that. And then I'm gonna see how I can okay. okay. I'm gonna put that like that so you can't see the foot. Then I have the neck over here that we're not going to be using. And the really creepy head. Hi, Ninos. Okay, I just realized the head is like really bad if you had it like that. He's just looking straight under him. Guys, should I actually do it like that instead? I'm going to buy another model and I'm going to actually make it itching. I'm gonna try to do it. Oh, look at this. I could do it. But yeah, my next model, I'm gonna do it. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna try to get this to glue. I'm gonna try to glue this on her. If it doesn't work, then I am really screwed. It's just gonna be a horse with no tail. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my dad to go take a shower, and so he's and then he's gonna get the little drill, and we're gonna get the wires, and then like then the tin foil clay, pastels, paint. Well, not paint, but yeah, and then this project will be done. 
So, yeah. <laughs> I'm super glad my dad came. And it was actually really easy for him. I have no idea how. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you after uh, I said all, all, all the stuff I said. After all that is done, then I'll update y'all. Bye. Hey guys, so guess what? Look how good he's looking. Okay, so now I just started adding the clay to her neck. I put some tin for the wires and everything. But look how good that looks. I'm so excited to see this with her color. Oh, let's do that. Okay. So, yeah. We put a wire in her tail, too, and glue because it would not stay. But look, I'm so excited to get her color. I already have the, the pastels ready. I'm still cutting up some more black and yeah. But after I finish the neck, I'll see you guys again. Okay, guys. I have a really big surprise for you. Sorry I didn't record it. But this is the result. I know it does not look good. Well, I know it does not look that good because it's actually the neck. The neck actually darkened with the with the um, pastels. But these pastels do work really good. My dad fell in love with it. And I love the position. Like It actually looks like it had to dry the position in the tail. We don't need to talk about that. But comment down below if you like it. And next time, we're going to be doing this one, a zombie horse. We're going to be making him look like my cousin. I'm kidding. My cousin is a zombie. I'm, I'm kidding. But, so, yeah. She is really pretty. I think I'm going to name her Scout. Which is a little blue place. And, like, since I do not have pink, um, her most is, like, a little tan. You can't really see it. Yeah, I can't really see it, but yeah. Okay, so back. Uh, oh, I might keep this. Oh, it is not gorgeous. Okay, and also I'm gonna raise her head like to right here. Just I mean, it's a zombie horse. So it's weird. I'm gonna cut her tail off, redesign it. I wanna make her like a really weird tail. So yeah, bye guys. See you in my next video.